Hello, I am Aniket from Turkish Astra Academy. SNAP 2022 application is about to close now, 24th of September. So which are the SNAP colleges? What are their expenses? What is the cutoff? What are their average salaries and mass versus percentage for the SNAP test 2021? We are going to discuss in this video. It is an important video because I am going to answer some of your generally asked FAQs. Okay, SNAP exam and then which college apply karne chahiye. So by the end of the video, that doubt will be cleared. Ki yaar, uh, agar mein char colleges hi apply karne, to wo se char colleges If I want to write only two SNAP tests, then which two SNAP tests should I write? And so those kind of doubts we are going to solve in this video in the end. So if you want to join us for any MBA plus preparation, connect with us on the number provided over here. We provide everything that is needed to help you join your dream school. Then SNAP test 2022 completing for registration start date is, was 4th of August. Application is going to end on 24th of November, which is very important. And a bit less than one week you have to apply for the SNAP exam. SNAP test 1 is going to be conducted on 10th of December. And for that, the admit card will be released on 5th of December. And SNAP test 2 will be conducted on 18th and 23rd of December and for that admit card will be released on 10th of December. Result date is 10th of January. Paper pattern, English, logical reasoning, quantitative aptitude, 15.5, 20 questions, 60 questions, uh, overall for 60 minutes. So it is the same paper pattern as that of last year. We are expecting similar level of difficulty. And even though the SNAP mock which was released was a lot of difficult level, ka tha, but that is not the case. Generally, the level of difficulty is of the level that you can attempt 60 minutes mein 60 questions attempt kar pao, ya dek ke aap pao. And those who are going to get into SIBM, of course. Okay, mode of exam is computer-based test, MCQ paper pattern, we have four responses, plus one, minus 0.5 will be the marking scheme. And maximum uh, three attempts you can take. Best of three score will be considered for the exam. This is very important. You can write all the three SNAP tests. And okay, so uske liye fir aapko sochne ki zarurat nahi ki mere kaun si SNAP test dena. Tino dekhi aaja. Theek hai. Obviously for each SNAP test you will have to pay separately. Now which are the colleges? And so these are the colleges ranked according to their ranking. ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत 19 20 का फर्क हो सकता है इसमें SIBM पुणे 25 लाख का एक्सपेंसेस एवरेज सैलरी 23 लाख कट ऑफ परसेंटेज इज 97% देन SICSR पुणे 11 लाख एक्सपेंसेस एवरेज सैलरी 5.24 लाख कट ऑफ परसेंटेज 81% SCMHRD SIIB SIDTM SIOM SCIT SIBM Bangalore these are good colleges, SIBM Hyderabad, SIBM Nagpur. These are the colleges which are famous. Hain. Theek hai, usme agar, if I have to rank it, this will be first, this will be second, this will be third, then fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, so these are the top seven colleges that are there. Okay, these are the top seven colleges. This may say if you do MBA, then it is worth uh, because you have to get a good return. You will approximately get the average salary of around 10 lakhs from these colleges, which is a good start to your career. So these are the colleges, their expenses, their average salary, their cut-off, you have understood it. Okay, now the most important part is mass versus percentage. So for SIBM Pune, that is 97 percentile. Last year it was 40 marks. Okay, last year it was 40 marks. So 40 marks. So this year, if you expect the cutoffs to increase, it will go up to 40 to 43 marks. Okay, 40 to 43 marks. Followed by that, you have SCMHRD at the same level. Followed by that, uh, if you consider third rank college, which is at 91 percentile, 91 percentile is 35.5 marks. That is. 36, 37 marks will fetch you the call from SIIT. Okay. So, this is the marks versus percentage. Okay. I hope you have understood or you have taken the screenshot of these two. And now I will explain you how to select your college. 
okay so general fqs which college to fit so first write down a mock okay write down a mock test if you are scoring in let us say 35 marks if you are scoring 35 marks go to this image check how much is 35 marks it is approximately 90 percent okay so 35 marks is 90 percent check for the colleges having 90 percent as the cutoff so this is one of the college which is SIUM Nashik is in your range, SIIB is in your range, then uh, SIBM Bangalore is in your range. Hana? So three, four colleges you can fill based on that. Okay, now if you take a mock test and you get around 40 marks, so check for 40 marks. Hana? 40 marks is around 97 percentile. So which college can I target? So SIBM Pune, can, I can target, SCMHRD, I can target, SIDTM or even SIIB, I can target. So let us say if you want to fill three to four colleges, you will get the idea from here. And which college fill karna hai? I am getting many calls asking you which college to target, which college application to fill. Okay. So I can tell you these top three, four colleges and you can fill it and you will not get a call from any of the college. If you want that, then if you want to waste the money like that, then you can listen to top 5-6 colleges in apply it. But that should not be the case. You to percentile you Let us say you are scoring only 30 marks. In mock test, right now you are scoring only 30 marks. So 30 marks are how much? 30 marks are around 70-75 percentile. Which college can I target at 70-75 percentile? This is the first college. And then on these colleges I can target. SIMC is something which I can target. SIMS is something which I can target. So these are the colleges in your target range. And if you are scoring 30 marks and if you are aspiring for SIBM Pune, then, then that is a foolish decision to take. And SIBM Pune to sab ko jana hai, but sab jaan hai na. We need to understand this part. Okay, so it is necessary ki you write down a mock on the basis of that you take the decision. Okay, it is recommended three or four colleges you apply. Karo. ठीक है अभी तीन या चार कॉलेजेस कौन से रहेंगे वो आप डिसाइड कैसे करोगे ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द मॉक्स को है ना दो तीन मॉक टेस्ट दो एक घंटे का मॉक टेस्ट रहेगा वो एक घंटे का मॉक टेस्ट देने के लिए बहुत ज्यादा ऐसे स्पेशली टाइम नहीं निकालना होता है तो दैट 2 3 दैट 1 आवर का मॉक विल हेल्प यू डिसाइड कि आपको किस कॉलेज को टारगेट करना चाहिए है ना नहीं तो आप 25 मार्क लगाए एसएबीएम के लिए टारगेट कर सकते हो एंड देन यू विल बी वेस्टिंग योर मनी है ना वो नहीं करना है तो मॉक टेस्ट दो Two or three mock tests will give you a certain idea that which college you can target. And which college you can target, these two images, these two slides you will get. So take a screenshot of this. Okay, so now what will happen? Now what will happen? Now what will happen? Now what will happen? Okay, next is, do we have to apply for the colleges separately? Yes, you have to apply for colleges separately. For each college, you will have to, you will have to pay 1000 rupees. Okay. Do we have to apply for colleges on their college website? No. You don't have to apply for these colleges on their college website. The application is available in the SNAP form itself. So during, I mean, while filling the SNAP form, once that is done, SNAP test is done, then colleges application start. And there you have to select three to four colleges. And on the basis of that, you can apply to those colleges. And now the most important and most confusing question is that snap which snap test should be preferred if you are writing three snap test if you are writing two snap test i would recommend first and third okay if you have not and if you are writing only one snap test i would recommend only first and why i'm telling you because um the simple reason is if you have any friends who have who have studied in a symbiosis or last year, those who have written SNAP exam, if you ask them, the level of difficulty of the SNAP exam, it increases gradually. Okay. So first SNAP test will be very easy. Second SNAP test will be a bit difficult. Third SNAP test will be a bit more difficult. Okay. So that is going to be the case. So now with the level of difficulty, what do we understand? That it not that SNAP test not Verbal way and then snap test two when you have two hours. That is not going to be the difference. Or if you did not get any question on time speed distance or data interpretation in snap test, snap test one and you got three questions on time speed distance in snap test three. And these things 
can happen hai na and you have to be ready for it okay the level of difficulty is slightly higher and that does not mean that students who have written the third test mm -hmm. are not going to get into sap hai na people are going to get into sapm through snap test 1 through snap test 2 and snap test 3 है ना तो अगर आपको अपने हिसाब से प्रेफरेंस देखना है तो आप अभी आपका देखो आपका पेढ़ाई कितना हुआ है आपका कितना लेवल ऑफ प्रिपरेशन है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट यू टेक द डिसीजन ओके और एल्स आई वुड रेकमेंड फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड इफ यू आर राइटिंग टू स्नैप टेस्ट और जस्ट द फर्स्ट टेस्ट ओके दिस इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दो स्टूडेंट्स हुए प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम ऑलरेडी ओके दो आर टारगेटिंग फॉर द एग्जाम ऑलरेडी ठीक है ना क्योंकि अगर आपका टारगेट है कि यार मेरे को स्नैप क्लियर करना ही है आई हैव बीन प्रिपेयरिंग सिंस लास्ट फाइव सिक्स मंथ्स देन गो फॉर द फर्स्ट एग्जाम राइट द टेस्ट एंड गेट इट डन है ना यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट एनी अदर एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर ठीक है यू हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर फॉर इट यू हैव रिटर्न सफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ मॉक्स सो दैट इज देस्ट डेट एंड गो फॉर इट एंड गेट इट डन विद ओके सो दीज आर दिंग्स दैट शुड नॉट मैटर अ लॉट but yes uh if you ask my opinion first snap test is something which you should go generally it is easier than the other two and also you will be done with it immediately okay for more such queries you can connect with us on any one of these three social media platforms or visit our website tatvashastra.co.in or send a whatsapp message on any one of these two numbers thank you so much jai hind